Let's try number 29. Here I want to write a formula for the volume of a cube in terms of the area of one of its faces. In other words, when it says write a formula for the volume of a cube, that means we want some formula that calculates the volume. Volume equals something. And what should show up on the other side of this equation? What variable should be there? Well, we want this written in terms of the area of one of its faces. So the variable that should show up in our equation is area. So in other words, we're going to have some stuff on this side. And the variable that's going to show up there is area. So we want a formula for the volume in terms of the area. Let's start off with our normal equation for the volume of a cube. V equals the side length squared. Sorry, cubed. It's a cube, the volume. Um, OK, great. That's the formula for the volume given in terms of the side length. Not quite what we want. Um, so we're going to have to involve another equation, probably one that involves the area. That's the variable we're interested in. Um, so we want a formula that involves the area and the variable that we want to replace. We want to replace this s. So how do we calculate the area of one side of a cube? Well, the sides, the faces of the cube are squares. So the area would be the area of a square, which is the side length squared. Okay, so how do, we, how do we take this volume formula and replace the S with an A? We're not just going to write an A there instead of an S. That would be a different formula. What we have to do is something called substitution. So in other words, I have to first solve this equation for S, um, and then I can substitute that in to the other equation. So here's the idea. I want to solve for S. So I would need to take the square root of both sides. So then the square root of a would be equal to s. Or in other words, we're saying the side length here is the square root of the area. So this is the side length written in terms of the area. So what we're going to do is take this s right here, the side length, and write it in terms of the area. In other words, we're going to substitute in the square root of a for the side length because they are equal. So then the volume would be equal to the square root of the area cubed. So that would be one way to write it. Um, is there a simpler way to write it? Maybe it would be simpler. Um, but let's, let's try and cube this. So write it out. Cubing anything, remember, is that thing that you're cubing multiplied together three times. So can we write this in a little bit simpler way? Maybe it would be simpler. Maybe it wouldn't if we um, multiply, let's say, let's, let's try and multiply these together two at a time. So what's the square root of a times the square root of a? Well, it's a. All right, so these two multiplied together are a. And what else do we have left to multiply? Well, the square root of a. So that would be another way uh, to write the formula. Can I multiply this a times the square root of a in a meaningful way? Uh, no, not really. So I could leave it like that, or maybe even like that. And that is the volume written in terms of the area. So there are a couple of different ways you might write the formula. A formula for the volume based on the area.